All right, we'll try that fight again later. And once we've gained a little more power. Especially since they won't just let us resolve this with words. Louis Soix is just like, nope. Well, this makes me curious what would happen if we killed Bahamut and then went back to talk to them. But I feel like that's not going to be a positive outcome either. I really feel like killing Bahamut is not the answer here. Let's go check out that town that was full of, uh, other dudes. Hello, Sky Tower. We're not going to do you yet. <laughs> Mirage Tower, whatever. Where, where were they? Where was that? Oh, hello. There's a cave here, too. What's up with this cave? And where is this? What are you? What town is this? It's our town. <laughs> I always forget. Okay, whatever. And that means this cave was the one we visited at like the very beginning of the game where the airship was in the first place. What if anything has changed here though? Anything special in here now? Almost oh, certainly not. You know what? I'm not gonna bother. Well, actually, let's go down to the hangar and see. Let's just see. It'll only take a moment. We can squash some very easy enemies. <sighs> Was it down here? No. Stab it, Mancers. You mean? buildings anymore. We already know that we cleared them out. The Grimp. The Grimp is back. The Grimp is gone. Goodbye. Those guys are worth 100p as well. Just seems unlikely. I get... How is it that the monsters are worth, like, exactly that much? Like, between three of them. I mean, I guess the Grimp would be worth more. And the other two just made up for it. I just couldn't have noticed that uh, two bones and a zombie are worth the same as two imps and a Grimp. I guess now we'll be able to deduce how much a bone is worth because you divide this number by three. Okay, so they're worth 30 each, which means that a zombie must be worth 40, right? Oh. Only the power of air will open this door. Well, would you look at that? There was something down here after all. It was not helpful to us, but we'll know to come back here later after we get the power of air. These guys aren't worth the time it takes to kill. <laughs> Let's just go. I want to follow up on my lead with that other town. Where we saw the mannequins. Where we first met the mannequins. What's up with them? Maybe we can help Corneria. Or I guess it's Cornelia. I don't really understand the origin of the name Corneria, but I mean, it's in both Final Fantasy and Star Fox, so it's gotta mean something, right? Did Star Fox come out before or after this game? I don't actually know. I guess I wouldn't be asking if I did know. Would I, dear viewer? Uh... Where was that town? It was like a right place somewhere on the world. This is not it. That's Provoca. Uh... There's like a bay here. This is the pirate cave. There was... It's on a coast somewhere, there's Crescent Lake, nobody cares. Um... I don't like... Here, somewhere, where? We, we failed. We've utterly failed at finding it, okay? We're back at the desert with the Mirage Tower and stuff. This is stupid jerkwad's hometown. Taking the dragon eggs. Here it is, this is the one. Drop our anchor right here, right here, we're going. 
Bye, what an adventure we're having today. Bye bye. Alright, what's up with this town? Are all these doors gonna be locked? It's locked. He's in there well. So we don't really know what's up with this town per se. We know that Carneria had a run in with Onrak. But is this Onrak? I guess it could be. Like maybe these mannequins are Corneria soldiers. What about that possibility? Or is it more probable that the mannequins are coming from here to attack Corneria? What is going on here? We're gonna get to the bottom of it. If we even can. Level up, nice. Yeah, cause like, this town isn't destroyed, it's just hostile to us. There's a captain. This is a tomb. I was looking around. Mannequins. These guys are worth the time it takes to kill them, because it's not very long and it's substantial. I'm not having used Ruby, or I'm not having Ruby use things again. I should reverse that trend. She's much more valuable using things. Watch your end, of this guy. Yeah, see, she's good. Let's open with these tombs. Tomb, 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 tomb. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Pirate. Welcome to the city of Unrek. It's pretty ironic that you live finished, decided to come back now. What has happened here? After the finish that was in charge of our war projects escaped, the government had to take over where he left off. They reopened the interdimensional rift. The official then summoned out a great and powerful Eidolon to take the power of the water away from the Leviathan. They succeeded, but can close the rift afterwards. The unstable rift brought countless waves of our previously failed experiments, the mannequins, back into our world. The other Onrak residents sealed themselves in their homes after we tried to seal them in the castle. Why are you here, Lafinian? The world is suffering a calamity. We need the power of water to stop it. You people left our civilization in a bad, or a very bad situation. The mannequins wiped out everyone in the castle. Our governor is gone, if you truly wish to help us. Take this key! It opens the door on the servant entrance to the castle. Go there and close the interdimensional rift. Okie dokie! You got it! Will you let us in the buildings now? The mannequins! So these are your experimental super soldiers, or... So good! This is what you get! This is what you get for experimenting with forces beyond your imagining. I feel like you might have earned this you might have had it coming when you were making these things in the first place. That's my hot take. But we will help you regardless. Door is locked. Door is locked. Ah, man. Ah, mannequins. We will make them pay. Well, well, slow your roll there. Stop missing, my dude. It's not bad, it's just annoying. Nick level A. So how do we get to the servant entrance? Would it be out this way? Over here? Over here? Chance to strike first. Well, we're just gonna mash. Even though that's stupid and bad. What are these tactics? I would hesitate to call them tactics. Your tactic is all out offense. Look, we could have totally mopped up, like, almost all of these guys before they even got one move. And you know, the other nice thing about having her use these weapons, or these spells instead of items, is that other people, you know, there's like no chance she'll miss, right? No chance she'll miss. Oh, there's nothing over here. We want to go this way. More mannequins. So, you know, if everyone's hiding from the mannequins, it kind of begs the question Oh, why was that player outside of his house? Is he just that brave? Doesn't care? 
He knows if he stays perfectly stealth, he'll never get into a random encounter with them. Just a bit sketchy, if you ask me. Then would this be? I I don't know. This is a very wide room. Oh come now. The whiz mannequin. He has returned. Okay. Don't let him whiz. Okay, we got him. Uh, I want to heal a paper. We've actually been getting uh, worn down quite a bit by these guys. Let's heal two. Where'd heal two go? There it is. There we go. Oh yeah, that heals just infinitely better. I'm never going back to the old heals again. I say for now. And just kill him. Just hit him. Hit him with your weapons. Strike until deceased. How many of these guys did they make? Like, seriously. <laughs> what happened? They were released into the other dimension and became an invasive species and proliferated. And now they're back for revenge on their creators because... Sure. Although I'm also curious how it is they ended up in Corneria because it sounds like what happened was like this is a misunderstanding like they the forces of Onrak are supposedly attacking but it doesn't seem there's any intent behind it if it's the mannequins doing it I don't know, I don't know. this is already more plot heavy than the original Final Fantasy ever was uh, I think I trust that the whiz mannequin the least of these three whoop, whoop. and then we'll go after the girl mannequin Ah. Ah. Get him. You know, it just occurred to me. I don't know how long this dungeon is gonna be, and I've got like seven minutes left. <laughs> I will persevere for you, dear Muir. But if I have to retreat at some point, we'll know why. I'm not gonna resist these treasures, man. A heal! Whoa! 2200 G's. Double well. Okay, look, mannequins. They were kind of like. A little, little, I'm a little worried about. A little worried about time. Just a little worried about time. Just a little worried about time. Maybe I should have, like, Estos use his magic, too. That seems smart. It is kind of his whole thing. He uses magic. I mean, it's too late for this group. Obviously, we can't possibly expedite this by any means already. It is going as quickly as humanly possible. But yeah, I'll have them start, like, barbecuing these groups. Put that fire 3 to use. More stuff. Opal? Opal? What is opal? Water, or where is resistant versus lightning? It's better than mithril. Uh, but too good for it. Uh, you've got 236 on your own. I think Beck needs it more. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, see, like these guys, we're just gonna, like... Well, Beck can hit them real quick. And then Astos can fry them. Oh, but uh, how much is too much? Like, we've got 190. This costs 30. This costs 25. What's, like, the lowest cost all-hitting thing he can do? This one's 20. This one's also 20. And I think everything below that is single target. Yeah, alright, we'll try regular fire. Because, yeah, see, it killed the one that we hit already. Good job, you idiot. Uh... Yeah, see, all I have to do is, like, soften them up so that they die in one hit afterward. That's all I really want. That's efficiency. That's making the most of our MP and our time. Of which I am rapidly running out, but whatever. Another opal. And what does that one make us resistant to? This one is resistant versus lightning as well. Okay, so they're both lightning resistance. 
How much lightning resistance does one person need? Is the question I need to ask. Also, apparently, you're the only one who can wear it anyway. Eh. I guess we'll keep it in mind. Having double lightning resistance might not be a bad thing. Sometimes. Go, 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 go. Uh, what's over here? Alright, mankins. Alright, mankins. Oh, fire. Fire. Fire, dude. Oh gosh. Sometimes the fire is strong enough to even kill them on its own. That's even better. Uh, treasure. I want. Pro Cape? Vorpal? Pro Ring? What are these things? Pro Cape? High dodge rate? Ooh. For only two defense? That ain't bad. But I can put it on someone else. Oh, he's so squishy. But she's our healer. You know what? You've had way more trouble dying than her. And what about the pro ring? It protects the wearer from knockouts. Uh, well, you know, I have had said that it might be better for her not to be wearing this, and it's the same stats, so... You know what? You take that pro ring. You won't, won't get knocked out. I already... What was the other thing that was... <laughs> there was something else we got out of these boxes, and I was just like... Vorpal, that's right. High critical hit rate. You know, that might not be too bad for that slight drop in power. You, though, I think you're still better off using that thing. Seriously. The occasional crit will probably be er, worthwhile, I think. Eh. How does he keep managing to kill the second one, but not the third? I don't understand. You know what? As something as it is to continue this dungeon, I think we gotta bail. Because I'm running out of time. It's gonna take me about as long as I have left to record to get out of here. So, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go. Yup. We're going. We're running for it. There are too many mannequins. I don't think I even have time to kill them all. Oh, well, there's so many, it's like kind of worthwhile. We, we do know there's, like, very expensive things worth buying, still. Although, I guess that depends on how you classify as worth buying. I don't know if those fatal moves are gonna be worth the 60k price tag. Just because they're fatal moves. Leave me alone, man. Let me out of my hiccup while I was trying to say that sentence. Ugh. Get me out of here. Dead, get me out of here. No. Regular mannequins, I don't care. Regular mannequins? No. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here to a place where we can save. This is the problem with games where saves are not from the menu. I can't exactly tent in here either. Get me out of here. Oh, he's gonna walk all the way out of the town too. Urk. Such a deep dungeon delve. Run! Okay. Okay. No! no. Leave me! <laughs> Leave me alone, mannequins! Alright, you know what? You earned it. You freaking earned it. Feel my fiery wrath. There. We've done it. And we escaped the town. I'm gonna camp right here. I'm actually gonna use our first house to get all my MP back. Yes. I'm gonna save that in slot 3, and I'm gonna use a tent to save in slot 4, so that's going to do it for now. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time with more Final Fantasy Sky Warriors! I'll see you then! Bye bye!